Sulifshiz is one of the estimated one million people in the United States who has Parkinson's disease, a progressive movement disorder that is slowly attacking her nerves and muscles. I've been very fortunate in that the symptoms in my case have progressed quite slowly. It's been something that has caused me to try to live life to the fullest because I know that the disease is progressive and uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to do the things that I want to do. Is there some way to control the, length, the amount of time that this takes? Yeah, that would be fine. I think we can make it easier or shorter, but there could be. Sue is helping an innovative team build physical therapy games designed specifically for people with Parkinson's disease. The goal of these games is to make rehab fun. And a lot of times the exercises can be pretty tedious, but if we can kind of integrate those exercises with an entertaining game, then maybe people will do them more often, have better results. Creative director Bob Hone of Red Hill Studios and Dr. Glenna Dowling of UCSF lead the effort. The partnership recently received a grant of nearly $1 million from the National Institutes of Health to produce therapeutic games. One of the things I think that will be so important about the suite of games that we'll be designing is that they're specifically tailored to the functional deficits that people with Parkinson's disease experience. In this game, Sue controls an old-fashioned virtual rail car with an exercise designed to help her stand and maintain balance. The better Sue performs the exercise, the better her score. The system works by using tiny motion sensors in common video game systems to detect the patient's movements. I think marrying games and exercise is a positive thing because some people don't like to exercise at all. And if it can be a game, it just gives a whole new dimension to it. I think it will encourage people to uh, participate more than just going out and running on a treadmill or walking or any other kind of exercise. Yay! <laughs> awesome! The key to all game design is making sure that the game's challenge matches the player's ability. So if the player is just getting started, you want the game to be very easy. But as the player gets better, you want the game to get progressively harder. That's what the video game companies know really, really well. That's why games are so addictive. What we're trying to do is apply that to health games so as people get better, the games get harder.